Hey guys, Captain here. So a question I get asked pretty often, because I use a lot of uh, different pieces, often in uh, rare colors, is where do I get all my parts? And uh, there's kind of two answers. Uh, usually I tell people bricklink.com. I will kind of uh, append that and say, also, I stock up on pieces on pick a brick walls a lot. Sometimes I point this out. When I see a piece on the wall that I think is neat, you know, that usually, in, for my case, usually lends itself well to building things in a micro scale, I grab a few handfuls. Uh, at some point, my local pick a brick wall had Travis bricks, and I bought over a hundred of them, and I'm only now starting to run out. That was like two or maybe even three years ago. But anyway, mostly, I buy my pieces at Bricklink. This is a site where um, users can set up shops and sell um, pieces of their own, uh, even sets and minifigs, but uh, most importantly, I buy parts here. So uh, what you can do, this is my process here, and uh, I want to also throw out there that when Bricklink updated their website a few months ago, they added a new feature that makes um, this way, way easier. I used to use like two programs as like a middleman, but now what you can do, uh, when I design stuff, usually I either build it by hand, or I design it digitally, in Lego Digital Designer. So, uh, you know, let's pull something out here, a mini Death Star, all right. And, uh, you know, you can build it here. Or if I if I build it for the most part by hand, uh, I often don't recreate it. Then I just kind of write down what pieces I need and I pick them out uh, anyway. But um, the most important thing is we're going to set up a Bricklink wanted list. And so here we can see this is saved as a .lxf file, which is perfect. So go back to Bricklink, go to Wanted, and I think you can go straight to Wanted List. You can add parts a number of ways, but if we go to Upload, we can go here and we can actually upload a, a file and notice that it accepts .lxf. Uh, by the way, LEGO Digital Designer, if you're interested, it's a free program. It's from LEGO. You can just Google it and it'll come up from LEGO's own website. Um, but yeah, you can just upload a .lxf file. Also, a Brickstore file, .bsx, this is what I used to have to use. Um, and then LDraw, I think, is another maybe a third-party uh, Lego um, building program on the computer. So, okay, we've got our file uploaded, and now we'll want to hit Verify Items. And then uh, it'll show us all these items. I think we can modify them here, maybe. Uh, it looks like we can't do too much with that here. All right, so let's just, uh, let's just add to our wanted list. I usually buy in any condition. In white, sometimes I go for new only because sometimes used white pieces, just depending on you know who the seller is, what their personal standards are. Used might mean a little bit yellowed, and generally I don't like that. Okay, let's add this to the wanted list. Let's view our wanted list. Okay, and so now we'll do a little bit of just making sure all these items are correct. Uh, this is what I used to use Brickstore for. Uh, and we'll notice this is missing. That's odd. Okay, so if we check this piece out, we can see that it's actually never been available in translucent bright green. But there's a lot in translucent neon green. That's what I meant, actually. So let's modify this. And as a result, let's also modify this. Uh, let's change the color. Translucent neon green. There we go. Another thing you might want to... Did I click orange on accident? Um, translucent neon green is where we want to be. There we go. And um, you might have to check some other stuff to be sure. Like some parts have a lot of variations, like jumper plates. There are three types of variations. There's the regular jumper plate. This is the one with the groove, and then there's one with um, like a bottom stud holder. I happen to know actually that uh, this isn't the one I want. I can remove this. In fact, the one I want is going to be uh, the one with the bottom stud holder because that's a lot more abundant in um, light bluish gray. There are way more stores selling it. For some colors, this might not be true, but I think this is the uh, the jumper plate they're just going to use for the most part from now on. I don't know if they even use this too much anymore. Okay, it seems they still do, but uh, it's definitely less abundant. Let's add this to our wanted list. Uh, and let's add 24 of them. That was the quantity I wanted there. Okay, so let's refresh our wanted list. Should be all good. Yeah, the new jumper plate is here. So now, the last thing you do is you go to buy all. You can click find stores. And then uh, this should show you stores by how many lots they have. So these stores will just have them. The minimum buy is definitely something to watch out for. I like to filter. I only like to buy from the USA just because I don't like paying international shipping or waiting, you know, a long time for it to go through customs or something like that. You know, I just, I just like going USA only. So it'll give you still a list of stores you can check out. Like if we, were, if I were to select this one, uh, okay, it doesn't have all the quantity I want there. But let's see this one. This one has it all. So it could show me 
what the price would be if I selected that. You can also use the auto finder. This is great, especially for orders where your stores aren't likely to have all the lots you want. Um, so there's the best value, there's cheapest, and there's fewest stores. Uh, I think best value is supposed to be some combination of cheapest and fewest stores. Um, so I don't know what, they probably just like kind of calculate in some amount of like average shipping. I've had a lot of Bricklink over orders over the years, and I think probably my average shipping was about five bucks, maybe four bucks, but usually I mentally add about five bucks per store that I deal with. Um, so, all right, let's click by best value. And then it might take it a little bit to calculate this. Uh, it's not perfect. Sometimes it seems to just stop the calculation here, but it's still, it's nice to just be able to do it through Bricklink. Um, yeah, there it like just didn't actually calculate it at all, and I don't know why. All right, so it might take it a little bit. Uh, I notice sometimes I have trouble with it unless I uh, refresh or something like that, um, you know, and then apply my filters. But, um, you know, it, it might take a little bit for it to calculate it. Um, so you'll just have to hang in there. One thing I wish it did have was some kind of status bar as to how far along the calculation it is. That is one thing I did appreciate about um, the program I used to use, which I think is still available but the database for it isn't getting updated anymore, so I'm not sure if that program even functions anymore. It was called Brickficiency, in case you're curious. Um, and uh, so that, that would let me choose about, or like up to how many stores I would be willing to buy from, and um, it would also show me how far through the calculation it was. But anyway, now once you're here, you can just click Add Selected to Cart, and you can just check out from these stores. I believe this um, searcher does check to uh, agree with minimum buy limits from stores. One thing you might want to check out though, in case you've got uh, a lot of lots from one store and not a lot of money spent, you might want to just check out their policy on uh, that because some stores will require like a minimum dollar average per number of lots or um, you know they'll just charge you a flat couple cents per lot. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, it, what a lot is, is it's just like a piece in a given color. So if I were to order one 2x4 red brick, uh, that's one lot. And if I were to 100 of 2x4 uh, red brick, that would still be just one lot. So, but anyways, uh, with that, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you found it a little bit informative. Um, and with that, I, uh, I'll see you guys next time. If you did, please, uh, if you did enjoy it, please rate, comment, subscribe. Send it to your friends. Check out my other videos. And I'll see you soon.